Hi everybody, thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is Leanne and I'm gonna be talking about the garden today. Let's jump right in. We're gonna be comparing different seed starting equipment. Now, I have this stuff, this stuff, solo cups, and last but not least, this stuff. All right, let's talk about the Haas tools tray. I have the 162 cell seed starting tray with the bottom tray. So it allows me to bottom water my seeds. And that is really important because you don't want to um, water above once the plants have started just to avoid diseases and kind of smashing the plants down with the water. So bottom watering is really important. Also, they are incredibly sturdy and they're made in America, which is really important to me. Um, I really like the company. I really like how they have YouTube so that I can learn from them and learn how to use their products. So that's the great thing about the Haas tools tray. One downside to the 162 cell tray is that the cells are really small and you need to be prepared to up potting your plants if they grow too big for those cells before they're ready to go outside, which is not a big deal as long as you're prepared for it. Okay, the solo cups. All right, I'm doing this one-handed while holding Jesse. I didn't have very much success last year and I don't know if it was really because of the solo cups. They are pretty big though and I'm curious as to if you don't wanna start your seeds in something so big. I don't know, if you guys know any better, leave them in the comments below. When you use the solo cups, you wanna drill a hole in the bottom for drainage. Now, um, there could have been a lot of things that I did wrong. I didn't use a seed starting mix, I used a potting mix and I didn't have grow lights they were just sitting on my kitchen table getting as much sun they could from the windows, which is not a lot. So it could have possibly, it could very possibly had not been the solo cups fault, but I did not have very much success when I started my plants in those. All right, these. I'm excited to use these, okay? Everybody says, and in my experience also, these dry out. And that is very true, they do dry out. But last time I used seed starting cells like this, they did not have a bottom tray or the plastic top. So I wonder if with that combination of equipment, it will be okay. So the cells dry out. In my experience, when I tried to keep the plants hydrated enough, the cells would fall apart too quickly. And they're supposed to. That's why they're made that way. So that when you plant your, when you go plant everything out, you can plant it with the cell intact and it will just decompose. So yeah, they're designed like that. They're supposed to be like that, but you don't want them to fall apart before you're ready. And I didn't have the bottom tray before to hold them together. So I'm thinking this will help out a lot. The cells are a little bit bigger than the ones in the 162 cell tray. And um, so that'll be awesome for that. And then I have two of these, I just have this one set up like this so I could show you. Um, those are about twice as big as the Haas tool cell trays. So that is really the only bonus to using that. It's gonna be great for my seed starting, but I'm only gonna get one use out of it. So compared to the Haas tools tray, even though the Haas tool cells are so much smaller, I'll be able to use them for years. This I'm probably gonna recycle after one year. Um, and I'm not going to buy things like that unless I find somebody getting rid of them on Facebook so that I can get like full use out of them and then recycle them. I don't want to use so much plastic just because it's annoying to have to wash it out really. And there's the added thing that I don't want to add plastic to the environment and everything, but, um, they're really just annoying to clean up. Also something that I am wanting to try is soil blocking. Sani, you inspired me, girl. I want to try the soil blocking. I'm looking into getting the blocker. I'm not sure I'm gonna try it this year, though possibly I might, if I get around to buying one in time to start the rest of my stuff. Maybe I'll do that for the fall garden, but uh, just because there's so much going on right now. I'm so excited to get this stuff going. I can't wait. I hope you guys found this video useful and I'm excited to be able to experiment with so many different kinds of things to start my seeds in. So that is that. That's my opinion and my comparison of these four different things to start your seeds in. 
If you guys found this useful, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want a friend to learn how to garden with. I'm your girl. Happy gardening, everybody. Bye.